The energy frequency and wavelength of electromagnetic energy varies across exponential ranges, while its speed never changes. There are some observable characteristics of electromagnetic energy that can be explained due to these patterns. Consider two wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation within the visible range. One red wave with its relatively low frequency and longer wavelength, and the other blue with a higher frequency and shorter wavelength. Now, rather than think of these as waves of light, pretend they are balls on a pool table. If we have both start at the bottom left corner of the table and give them a push toward the top of the table, we can represent the differences in wavelength by varying the number of times they hit the side of the table as they travel. The red ball with its lower frequency hits the sides of the table four times as it travels from the bottom to the top, while the blue ball with its higher frequency hits the sides of the table eight times over the same distance up the table. This analogy shows how the higher frequency results in shorter wavelength of for the blue ball. And in order for the blue ball to reach the top of the table at the same time as the red ball, it has to move faster because of, with all the additional back and forth motion, it ends up traveling further over the same period. We can see just how much further the blue ball has to travel by straightening out both paths. The need for waves with higher frequency and shorter wavelength to travel faster in order to cover the same linear distance represents the extra energy associated with electromagnetic energy towards this end of the spectrum. If we then imagine randomly placing obstacles on the table, the longer path traveled by the blue ball makes it more likely that the blue ball will hit an obstacle and be moved off in another direction, failing to arrive at the top of the table. While not perfect, this analogy captures things we can observe when looking at visible light traveling through the atmosphere. As different wavelengths of visible sunlight travel through the atmosphere, higher frequency, shorter wavelength blue light has greater chance of encountering particles and being reflected or scattered. This type of scattering is called Rayleigh scattering and is the reason the sky is blue. The blue light we see coming from all directions is sunlight that has been scattered in the atmosphere such that some of it reaches our eyes while most of the lower energy, longer wavelength red light passes through the atmosphere without being scattered. It also explains why sunsets are red. When the sun is low in the sky, the light reaching us is traveling through more atmosphere, causing more of the blue light to be scattered and resulting in more of the light reaching us being in the lower, that is redder range of the visible spectrum. So the tendency for higher energy, shorter wavelength, bluer light to be scattered explains both why the sky is blue and why sunsets are red.